guys. In today's video, I'm just going to make a quick batch of sofrito. And I made this a very, very long time ago. And um, a friend of mine gave me a recipe a while ago. But I decided to make it again this year because I love sofrito. Also, I think there is another name for this. Now, I am not Hispanic, but I love Spanish food. So, when I used to buy the sofrito in the store, it was red. And then there was another green one called Racaillo or something like that, I believe. If I am butchering the name, please tell me. So, I believe that when you make it fresh, people say sofrito. But, however, I think it is the Racaillo version. Um... And I believe you cook the sofrito. I think that one is hot and this one is cold. I don't know. I'm going to figure it all out and put it all in the description box. But that's what I'm going to make today. I actually cleaned everything already because it was just a process. This is going to be a small batch for myself. And then I'll show you guys how I store it. Years ago, I came across the lady on, I, I believe it was YouTube before I even had a YouTube channel. Like years, years ago. Uh, maybe seven, eight years ago. And she stored it inside of ice trays. So I did do that before and it's better that way because you can just take a chunk, pop it into wherever you need to cook and be done with it. So today I have some, I have yellow onions, I have green pepper, which I believe you can use, uh, what is the name of the other pepper? The Cubanelle, Cubanelle pepper, Cubanelle pepper. Um, I didn't find that so I'm using green pepper. Um, my sweet peppers, I'm using that because I couldn't find, I think it's called Chichua peppers, I believe. I'm going to link it all. I, I, I'm butchering these names, but I'm just going to make this because I love it. And I also have some cilantro. I have some cilantro and I have culantro. And then I have some garlic cloves. Everything is fresh. So I'm just gonna get right into it. This is gonna be really, really quick. I am not going to be adding any type of liquid in here. So if you guys do try to make this, use a food processor. I think it's a little bit better. Um, I think the last time I actually used my chopper, but it's so small, so I just decided to do this one. So I'm just gonna start by adding in my cilantro first. That's all cleaned up. Then I'm gonna add in my culantro, which is this one. Um, watch this really good, guys. Um, then I'm going to be adding in my onions. I'm gonna put measurements. So again, this is a small batch for myself and you can probably tweak it if you need to make a bigger one. Listen, if I can make this, anybody can make this. Okay, so I'm putting on my onions, like I said, just yellow, white onions, or yellow, yellow onions, yellow onion, and I'm using sweet pepper because I don't have the um, shachua pepper. I swear, I hope I'm not butchering it. So anybody who is from a Spanish-speaking country, or if you just may know, <laughs> let me know if I'm butchering these names. I'm trying. Um... So I'm adding everything into here, guys. And one by one, I'm gonna add my garlic next. This is like a cup of garlic. I'm, I'm gonna put measurements because I did kind of count out what I did, measure out what I did. And this way you guys could actually make it and um, freeze it up. I freeze it because I don't use it every day. However, I believe you could actually put a like a bowl or something in your refrigerator, um, probably for a week. I wouldn't go over a week without it being actually frozen. Um, okay. So I have a regular food processor. This is like a Hamilton Beach food processor. I use this a lot for my, my vegan dishes. I actually used to use this for trying to knead my, my dough, but then I figured your hands are so much better. So I'm just gonna pop it on here. And um, what am I doing? So, 
pop it on here. This is my top to it. And then just wipe this off a little bit. <clears throat> this is a quick batch. You guys are gonna love this. And I'm just going to stuff at the bottom like the peppers and stuff here we go chunks of oh this is good let's get it off the sides and let's just chop it up a little more see okay let's just do a little more one more time and then we're done And we're done. Okay. And here it is, guys. So even it's it has like movement. Um, I didn't put any water in here, so that's just fresh um, vegetables, and that's it. And and here it goes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to put it. Actually, let's take out, let's pour it into this bowl here. And then I'm going to scoop it into. Oh, oh. I knew I should have took it out. That's a blooper. Okay. <laughs> it wouldn't come out. All right. Okay. Okay. And here it goes. I have like little chunks of like garlic and just a little bit like this is exactly how I made it the last time. So this is very strong guys. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put them in some regular ice trays and wrap it up and let it freeze. I may put some in a small, con I don't know, maybe. Because I may use them tonight and make some rice or something, some wild rice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna scoop it into the ice trays and Freeze it, freeze it, and then I'll take them out tomorrow. I'll take a picture of it tomorrow. And then you guys can see how it looks. And when I actually pack them into the Ziploc bag. And that's it. This is a, like I said, this is a really small batch. It looks like a lot. I mean, it's still a lot, but it's still a small batch. But this will last you um, if you use it often. If you make stew. Uh, if you're a vegan, you can make some sort of mushroom sort of stew or something. And just take an ice cube 
portion and drop it in there. I love trying different foods from different cultures. Um, and and I, I never was like that. I think I, well, Spanish food, I was just used to from living in New York. Um, and it's just something that I just always taken a liking to, so. But you guys can try this out. Try it out, try it out, try it out. So that's one ice tray. And then I'm gonna do the second one. And whatever's left, I am gonna just put it inside of a um, bowl and use some tonight. And then for the rest of the week, whatever I cook for dinner, if I need some flavor. So this is my sofrito, also known as racaillo, racaillo, I think that's how you pronounce it. Please, if I'm butchering this, let me know. And this is so strong. The good thing about it is that there's no, you know, preservatives or anything in this. And like I said, if I can make this, if I can make this. And just scoop it in there. And we're done. And I just kind of like flatten it down. So when it does freeze, it's easy for me to get it out. I don't want to struggle to get it out. Let's add a little bit more. Actually, I don't have a, this is a good amount I made. So I have like a little bit to put in like a small Pyrex. And, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get some aluminum for you because I don't have any saran wrap. Ah, I'm going to put it in one of the produce bags and then wrap it again and then stick it in my freezer. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I have a small amount left and I'm actually going to grab, let's see how much is in here. It's a really small amount. I'm gonna use this tonight. Let's use this tonight. I'm gonna put this to the side. Yeah, I don't actually don't have to save this and put it in anything. So. Here are the two that I have here. Ah. And I probably gotta leave that blooper in there, to be honest. <laughs> oh my God. So I'm thinking to add it in here first and then wrap it. So let's do one at a time. Hey, sometimes you just gotta get creative when you don't have uh, saran wrap. And let me grab one more bag. Okay, here's another one. And then just, just gonna slide it in. Okay. Okay, so they both wrap like this. And then I'm actually, you know what? I wonder if I should, mm, I actually am going to just save my aluminum. I mean, I guess I can. You could either do it like this so you can put it in a, like another pack. I'm gonna do that because that's how I did it the last time and I didn't have any issues because this will have your refrigerator and everything smelling like sofrito. So let's take some of those good old bags from the <laughs> farmer's market and let's just take them and place them in their own bag. Um, just slide them in. 
close it up really good. That's one. And then let's take the other one. Honestly, I'm gonna stick it in my freezer and I hope this helps the smell. And it's not a bad smell, it's just that I don't want everything in my, I don't want my fruit smell like, tasting like sofrito, smelling like sofrito. Even though I love it. And that's it guys. That's my sofrito and I'm ready to put it in the freezer for tomorrow and then I'll take it out, I'll take a picture for you guys, I'll add it at the end and let you guys know how it came out. But thank you for tuning in and yes, that's my quick sofrito Spanish seasoning um, that I got a recipe for years ago and I just decided to make some tonight because I felt like I wanted it and I could have it for like the next couple of weeks. So thank you. If you stay to the end of this video and you like videos like this, please comment below. Coco, we see you. And hit that like button and hit that subscribe button so you can be notified of when I look, upload new videos. I actually load on Wednesdays and Sundays. I'm trying to stay consistent with that um, because my channel is very, very new. But whatever works for you guys, let me know. But thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.